we like to put the spotlight on the Farm Women's Group Common Ground. Common Ground is a group of farm women who want to be a resource for consumers who want to know more about how their food is grown. So joining us today is Krista Klug from Columbus. Nice to see you, Crystal. Good morning. Yeah, Thanks good morning. for having me. Yeah. It's been a while. It, it has. has. Yeah. <laughs> right. How's everything in your area? It's good. It's, it's a little sloppy. Wish the pens were a little bit drier, but Mother Nature hasn't been kind this winter. But mm -hmm. That's the way it goes. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Well, it's a new year, and I know one of the topics that you wanted to discuss is an effort to stay healthy and how Common Ground serves as a resource for people who have questions about the farm. So tell us more about that. Yes. Yeah, so a lot of people are making their New Year's resolutions. It's January, so and that starts at the grocery store. But unfortunately, there's a lot of mixed messages when you walk the aisles of the grocery store. Um, there's a lot of uh, labels now that can be very confusing. So as a mom, I, mo I buy for my family too, and so I'm concerned with, um, I have concerns about the mi mixed marketing that people are getting. They might be really confused. So we have a couple really great resources to go to. Um, our state website is commongroundnebraska.com or find our common ground. Um, dot com is our national website. But essentially, we just want to talk about how there is 10 GMO varieties on the market. Um, two of those aren't even in Nebraska grocery stores right now, which is the Arctic apple and the innate potato. Um, those are varieties that do not brown. Those are not available at the grocery store. The other eight of those are things like alfalfa and cotton, which you're not gonna find in the produce section. Um, summer squash, there's canola, soybeans, corn, papaya, sugar beet. I think I got them all. But, um, so, but if you walk the grocery store aisles, you think like, wow, there's a lot of GMOs. And that's just not the case. Like I picked up a can of tomatoes and it had this um, non-GMO verified label on it, but there's no GMO tomatoes on the market. So essentially, um, the label can sometimes mean nothing. Why are food companies um, wanting this label on there? Because they know that um, consumers are interested about their health, but they also know that they're not informed. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to um, they're trying to make it seem like this is a healthier option, but that's just not mm -hmm. the case. So what you're saying is they're, they're not lying by putting that label on there because there are no GMOs. Right, right. right. They're not lying, but it makes you think that there is... You're buying something healthier. Yeah, maybe, yeah, or yeah. It, and so, like, I know orange juice. They Some brands of orange juice have the non-GMO verified label on there, and there's no GMO oranges. Wheat, there's no GMO variety of wheat. So uh, you can go down the pasta aisle and s see that, oh, this is a nice package, and it's got this non-GMO verified label on it, but essentially there's... There's no GMO wheat variety. And so there, if you look at the back of the boxes, it's no different than your um, store brand. They're exact same ingredients, exact same everything. So I we just want people to be mm -hmm. um, aware of that. That's good. And if people want to know more, they should contact you or someone with Common Ground and continue this conversation. Yeah, because yeah. there's a lot of yes. questions. I know people Yes, have. yes. And there's a lot of... FindOurCommonGround.com is a terrific website. If people have questions about organic versus conventional and GMOs and animal welfare and uh, lots of great topics. Cool. All right. Okay. Crystal, thank you. And you're sticking around with a great recipe, too, to yes. share. Yes. We yes. appreciate that. Thank you. All right.